What's up guys, main man Sweet here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and what the hell is this, a video with Warhammer 40k in the title, this is my first ever model that I painted, uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it, but I, I want to get much better, which is why I'm directing a video towards you guys, uh, I have 170k subs on YouTube, at least one! At least one person out there in my following has to be into Warhammer as well and can maybe help me out with a couple of questions I have. I've just been doing it for literally a week and it's kind of funny how I stumbled into it. For the last few months I've been listening to Warhammer 40k themed music on YouTube. And there's actually some pretty good stuff out there, uh, many songs about the... Uh, the, the Emperor, the God Emperor of Mankind. And uh, I didn't know anything about it and I was like, oh God Emperor, who is he? Oh, it's 40k, it's probably gonna be a shit story. It's just the uh, edgelord guys uh, covered in skulls, you know, and rah, 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 grunting and shooting and it's gonna be completely brain dead. Uh, you know, a very uh, stereotypical view of it, I'm guessing, uh, or cliched, but uh, it got me reading a little bit about the lore and the God Emperor and I was like, I was just amazed at how much lore there was. I was like, completely blown away. And I heard like 400 novels had been written. What? And then you start seeing some like fan art creations on YouTube, like the Astartes series and many other fan projects. And it just dawns upon me that like Warhammer has a super dedicated community and there's much more to it than simply the Astartes but uh, they're super cool the Space Marines I mean to me it's basically stormtroopers on steroids which is pretty much uh, what they are but uh, I just love the models and it, it was also so, so I've gotten some connection to it through all of that but when it was just me sitting at home going like okay so when you have free time when you're not working or hanging out with friends or your son you're watching netflix or you're binging youtube your recommended feed and just clicking next video next video and i was like uh, and you know i installed an app on my smartphone telling me how much i used it uh, an ordinary day i averaged four to five hours per day and it's just unacceptable to me and it's like when i'm uh, when i'm out about town walking around and how many people i see walk like this with the phone gl glued to their face basically and i'm like i need to change things up i want to spend less time every day with screens so i limit my screen time greatly and i was like maybe i should get into plastic models again uh, assembling them and painting them as i did when i was a kid maybe that's something i could do that's artistic uh, you know, maybe I could like that. And that got me thinking again about Warhammer. And I was like, maybe I should try that. And it could be a great thing for my son as well, Wilhelm. He's actually painted... Uh, this is him painting uh, a space marine. He loves the color green. Blanca is his favorite Street Fighter character. Uh, we play on that arcade cabinet back there once in a while. So this is Wilhelm's attempt at his uh, space marine here. I love it. Uh, and yeah, I'm doing a Black Templar myself. I, I love their chapter. Uh, and now it's not focusing for some reason. Uh, but I, I really love their chapter. There we go. So I don't know if that's a sergeant. Uh, so again, this is my first ever painted model. And again, I thought it could be a good thing to do with the son. He loves painting at uh, daycare, kindergarten. And why not sit at home and paint with me? Good father and son activity, I feel. Uh, so yeah, I just ordered a couple of models and some paint. I, I only have two colors so far, and it's the wrong colors from what I understand. Due to Brexit, in the EU, you can't get hold of Warhammer stuff. Citadel, paints, or uh, any Games Workshop product, even the official Warhammer store. There is one in Stockholm, the city I live in. Uh, they're just, since two months back, they don't receive any, any new... Um, uh, shipments. So uh, I, I, I chose the wrong time to get into Warhammer, but uh, no, it, it was through that uh, and you know, it, it seems I have so much fun doing it. It's great. They're really cool and painting is a lot of fun and assembling them. 
And people say the models are very, very expensive, but I don't feel they are expensive. I felt so at first, but man, they're so detailed. They're beautiful to look at. And to be honest, the entertainment you get from just a few space marines, I mean, I painted this guy for what? Like a whole day. I mean, it's not a lot of money when you factor in, like, the amount of hours you can, can spend if you want to do a really good painting job on each model. But so anyway, that's how I, I got into it. And I'm having fun with the models. I also have a, uh, a, a Dreadnought. And my god, my son, Wilhelm, loves the Dreadnoughts. They're so cool. Uh, I love them myself uh, as well. Uh, so I'm getting into the models, and the first question for you guys is edge highlighting. It's pretty much impossible to me. I know I'm supposed to get a, uh, a brush that has a very pointy tip, and it is very uh, resistant. But, but still, like, I, I, don't, I don't get how people do that. They're so small! Look how big my hands are in comparison. I mean, I'm a pretty big dude, but... I don't even get how a smaller dude paints that stuff. Like edge highlights and the very tiny details. It's like... I, I don't hate myself for this paint job. I, I don't think it's... Uh, you see, I don't even have red to do his eyes. I mean, look, it's, 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 not, it's not very good. But I feel it's not terrible for, for my first model. But when I look at what other people achieve, I'm like, I want to get that good. I want to be a Astartes Painter Prime. I don't, I don't want to be a Brawler Scrub. Um, so maybe some advice on maybe brushes I could buy would, would be great. Or maybe if you know a super good guide on edge highlighting. Uh, or maybe a beginner's guide on assembling the models and painting them overall. And then I'm, I'm, I'm questioning you guys regarding the good games as well. I finished... Uh, I'm getting into all of Warhammer, except for uh, uh, playing the, the board game itself. I'm doing the models, I'm painting those, I've ordered a shit ton of models I'm going to assemble and paint. I've played... Um, highly recommended was the 2004 game uh, Dawn of War. Uh, I played that, uh, I, I thought it was really good. So where do I proceed from there? And now I'm also playing, I've just started playing a Space Marine from 2011, I think, with Mark Strong, fantastic actor. It was so cool to see that uh, he's voicing Titus, the um, captain, right? I think he's a captain, uh, ultramarine uh, officer. Um, so, so I'm playing that game and it seems really cool and fun. It's like Gears of War, blood everywhere. I like Dawn of War. What other Warhammer games should I be playing that are also high quality, really good? And I don't care if it's like very different genres. Again, Dawn of War, RTS, Space Marine, third person action game. Bring it on. As long as it's good Warhammer games, I'm very interested. And I'm also reading the lore. Uh, I've just started reading uh, Horus Rising by Dan Abnett. And it's just so fascinating to hear that there are like 400 novels. My god, what a vast universe. And a lot of the characters actually seem to have depth. There is substance to the story. And my god, it's been worked out to almost every tiny detail, like how the Imperium of Man is assembled, its hierarchy, uh, different factions. It, it just seems so detailed and I love that stuff as I'm a huge fucking nerd. Wow, if you couldn't tell by me holding this in my scrub hands. Um, but so I'm reading Horus Rising. Dan Abnett seems to be a very respected and notable author and uh, the Horus Heresy overall seems like a good starting point. People can't stop speaking highly of those books. But do I have to read all the Horus Heresy books to, to really enjoy it? Because I hear it's like, what, is it 30 books in total? And Horus Rising, from what I hear, is a good starting point, is it not? So do you guys have any idea what other books would be a great read? Uh, Eisenhorn, I hear, is also really good by Dan Abner. But that's a story about an Inquisitor, right? Or two Inquisitors. Um, so that's very different. But so yeah, I'm, I'm just very, very interested in like, beginner painting guides, uh, edge highlights, uh, what kind of brushes should I have? 
Uh, I have a couple of Cit Citado brushes, but even my layer brush that was supposed to be good with details, supposed to, I feel like I can't edge highlight with that at all. Um, and then, yeah, what games should I be playing? And in terms of lore, I'm re reading Horus Rising. What other Horus Heresy books should you be reading? Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, Warhammer is really cool and I look forward to nerding away with, with that rather than spending more time on my smartphone. So that's a pretty cool thing. And again, my son loves painting them, so uh, it's really good shit. But so yeah, I'm hoping uh, there is someone out there on my channel that's also into Warhammer and wants to give some ideas on how I can continue my 40k journey. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening to me everyone and take care guys.